grinding into some canisters. And uh, this can be tricky, especially if it's full. I'm taking the lid off and uh, I'm raising this up. It's draining through that round, very what must be a half half of an inch felt filter puck, and so it's draining um, a little bit slow as the coffee's settled on the bottom as well. So we're going to let that drain and then come back. Okay, welcome back. We have drained our concentrate into this um, pitcher. And now we have to choose what size of keg to put it in. I have as small as this, and I have as big as the three gallon. I have five gallons over there as well, but since this is only for home and a party, we're going to use this one. And since this is a concentrate, I could mix three waters or two waters to make three. I want a triple. It's it's going to be it's triple strength. So I want to um, I want to use this and dilute it. Now you can have concentrate with nitrogen as uh, strong as you want it, and it's kind of a call you just have to make. Uh, so we want to. We want to uh, probably I'm going to probably double this. Maybe put one more water in the size of this pitcher. I could add as many as two, but I'm not going to today. And this was three quarters full, so I'm just going to fill it to the top with filtered water, and I'm going to mix this in. Okay, I am uh, adding another equal amount, just a hair more of uh, water to dilute this. Now what's important to know about this is that when I screw this back on, it has two valves. It has an inlet for the nitrogen and an outlet for uh, the tap. In this case, I have a snap-on tap that we're going to use. And uh, I'm going to chill this and nitrogenate it at the same time. Before we nitrogen it, we're going to give it a quick shake to blend the water and the concentrate. Now we're going to nitrogenate. And I have my nitrogen tank in a, a small waste can. And uh, so it stays upright. You, when it falls over, you can break these gauges. And so I'm going to uh, connect this, quick disconnect, snap it on, turn this on. And I just pressurize the tank. And now here is a outlet valve because it has air in it. I'm going to let the nitrogen push the air out. You could, I could shut this off so, so no more air comes out, and then I turn it back on, and I have this set uh, at about 32 pounds, and uh, now to get it to nitrogenate, I'm going to shake it and let the nitrogen work into the coffee. And it's going to take really a day is best up to you know as little as 12, 12 hours. So now uh, later we'll be showing you uh, a pour and talk about the tap. The nitrogen tap is a stout tap for beers like Guinness and stouts. And inside this, it has it has a small uh, 
plate with four or five holes in it. And I'm going to show you that as a close-up. Now the holes that you saw force the coffee to go through and um, creates the foam. And uh, without this, it, it dissipates too quickly. So this is a stout tap and uh, that little plate with the five holes is really key uh, to get the kind of coffee we want with the cascading, like a, a Guinness beer sort of uh, foam. Hi right, Guy, back again to serve our nitro and I'm going to show you how we pour it. And we can see it cloudy and it's forming a, a foam and uh, we're excited about that. There we have a cold brew on nitro coffee. This, I got some guests over, so why don't I pour some more here? If you like this, hit the bell if you want notified that we put out a new video. Guy from Vecino's Coffee Guy.